Hey guys, so I decided really last minute to film this for you. Um, I'm doing kind of a different video. It's not all drugstore. <clears throat> Sorry, if I sound kind of weird and I keep going, <laughs> you know, weird, sicky sounds. I'm getting over strep throat, so bear with me there. However, um, I have an audition this afternoon for an additional scholarship to um, the university I attend. It's a special scholarship specifically for people who have vocal music education and it is a memorial, memorial scholarship. So it's a remembrance of someone who has passed away and attended the university that I attend. Even though that's the circumstances of this particular scholarship, I felt like I always do like the same kind of makeup for a, an audition of any kind, scholarship or for a part or just to get into a certain choir, you know, whatever. So I thought, why don't we do an audition makeup tutorial? So it's not really uh, so much of do it exactly this way, but just kind of an idea of what makeup is appropriate for a professional situation where you want to be a little glam, but not so much so that it's distracting and the camera has kind of cut my hair off so don't worry I didn't cut it or anything it's still very long and luscious oh. anywho so I had some time I've got a couple hours before I have to be at my audition so I was like I'll do start my makeup now so you guys can see it and I can talk a little bit and blah 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 but um, I am going to pin up pin back my bangs so they always get in my way my cute little music bow cause you know I'm a nerd uh yeah so now I'm going to put over it this clear skin fresh effects mattifier from Olay this is like less than 10 bucks and I love it Kat Von D Locket Foundation. Um, it's a really full coverage foundation, but I don't feel like I use that much of it. And I am shade light number 46, if you're interested. And then I'm going to go ahead and set this with the Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. I'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eye, but I'm not going to do any heavy highlighting because you do not want your makeup to distract from you. Also, I had to do some really crazy makeup for the opera last week. And um, I used my own makeup. So if you guys want to know how I did my makeup for the opera, because stage makeup is way different. So if you want to know how I did my makeup for the opera and see that craziness, because it was crazy, um, let me know. Comment down below. Give it a thumbs up. Whatever. You know, let me know that you want to see that. I'm going to go back in and again set it with a beauty blender. I'm not going to contour my face a whole lot for the same reason that I didn't um, highlight a whole lot of areas. This is about me. <laughs> so, um, I got this product in an Ipsy bag for March. Yeah, it was March's Ipsy bag. And it's from a company called Mellow. It was a bronzer by them, and it is literally the shade bronze. Um, packaging is really cute. 
haven't used it a whole lot. Romantic Rose Powder Blush from Milani. You guys can tell I have used the crud out of this. So, I actually use this for the opera. I am going to highlight like just the cheekbone area, bridge of my nose, and right above the upper lip. And I'm gonna go in with just a really soft um, highlight. Bilbo just woke up from his nap. Oh, he needs some love. Come here, come on. It is time that you meet Bilbo. Also, he's newer to the family, aren't you? And if you guys follow me on Snapchat or on Instagram, you'll see pictures of my cats. And you'll know that I'm a true old fashioned little cat lady. My tiny. Hmm? Oh my gosh, he purrs so loud. He's my little love. Can I sit you down now? Okay. It's literally called Elf Shimmer. It's in the shade gold. feel like Jeffree Star whenever I put on my highlight. Cause he's like, hello, Flo. Hello. That's exactly how I feel. Oh, hello. Thank you for joining. He's so cute. Okay. So now we've got our face pretty much done. We're going to go ahead. <clears throat> We're going to do our eyeballs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime. I've actually really fallen in love with this eyeshadow primer from Hard Candy. It's called Eyes the Limit. It's just their little tube. Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. Um, because everybody kind of does their eyebrows their own way anyways. And because my eyebrows are crazy. Per usual. You guys are used to that. We're going to use this uh, Top 10 Trendsetters eyeshadow collection. This is from Hard Candy. So this is the birthday suit collection. It's The packaging is so stinking cute. Um, you get a little mirror in the top here. And then you get your 10 shades down here. Um, and I'm just going to go in. I'm going to hold it like this so it works better for us. So I'm going to go in with this shade here, it's fairly light and neutral, and I'm going to put this all over the lid. Bilbo is attacking. Aren't you? Aren't you attacking? My bed is like right there, so he's like jumping out of my leg from my bed. Okay, now I'm gonna go with this really pretty, like caramely brown. I'm gonna face the color on the brush up. So I'll work it like that on the crease. we're mature enough to be in here while mom's recording because he's so little you guys he's so tiny all right 
Bye. I'm gonna go hang out outside now. He's crazy. I've never had a male cat before. And I did not realize what we were signing up for. Don't get me wrong though, I love him. He just knows all the places to poke. Okay. Next I'm gonna go in with just a little bit like matte, more matte color of a darker brown. Or not more matte, just like just a darker shade. And this is from my The Nudes by Maybelline palette. It's just the original one. And we're just gonna go in with this dark brown shade here. We're just going to go at the very corner. Okay, now we're going to go in with a very light color from this hard candy palette. Just like a very light, neutral. I'm just going to tap it at the lash line into the inner eye. And then just have like a really light, natural look. <clears throat> and you're going to want to buff out your under eye. And boom. Eyeshadow done. Now you just want to go in with a black liner. Any black liner will do. And you want to do your waterline. And you're going to take it just like right to the middle. And out. A little bit and then I am going to do wing liner now if you don't want to do wing liner or if you're in a very conservative situation no liner and mascara or like a brown liner is a great option but um I don't know an audition like this isn't conservative I don't think so I'm just gonna go for the wing big on one side so I have to go bigger on the other but this wouldn't be a video from me if you know I got my wing liner right so all right and then next you just mascara it and you're ready to take on whatever audition so I'm gonna put on my mascara and then we'll talk about lips okay so now I have my mascara on and this wing eyeliner got pretty bold, so I'm probably going to go with a more neutral lipstick. Now, as a singer, you can kind of go big on lipstick most of the time, um, or as a vocalist, whatever you prefer to be called. Um, you can kind of go big sometimes on the lip, uh, but I have, like, severely winged liner. So, I think I'm going to actually go for a nude. You're like, what? Morgan, a nude lipstick? You never do that. That's true. I don't ever do that. Um, I'm trying to branch out more with lipstick and lip things in general. Um, last night, I wore, I wore this, and you probably saw it on my Instagram. It's the NYX Liquid Suede in... Um, cats are playing at the door like he's putting his paws underneath the door and like crying and Freya is like on the other side of the door she's like mom why aren't you letting him in <sighs> you can't win you guys you can't win anywho so I wore this last night and it was super bold and it was with a similar eye look but less wing and um it was I got a lot of compliments and it's called pink lust these are seven dollars and they're wonderful but not appropriate for this. So, I'm going to go with this Lime Crime shade. It's called Faded. I'm torn about whether or not this is the right name. I think it might have gotten labeled wrong. I ordered Faded, but this doesn't look like the swatches. It doesn't look purpley enough. In my opinion. But, that's just me. It's fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. 
следующая встреча. So, this is the final look. So that's everything for today. Um, <clears throat> it's been great hanging out with you guys, per usual. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <coughs> uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and find me all over the internet. Everything's down in the description box. Bye!